Hello guys and welcome back to comments and it's time for another tutorial and today we are going to create that you can double jump. So before we're going to start I'm first going to explain everything I have done within the scene. So the very first thing is I just drag the first person controller inside the scene from the standard assets. Then I also put uh, a plane with a collider that's very important so we can jump and well on the first person controller at first there is already in function that uh, where you will be able to jump around but you cannot double jump and that's what we are going to do so uh, you're going to start up the first person controller you can find it in standard assets and from there the scripts just this whole uh, thing and we're going to create a new bool a public bool double jump then we are going towards the actual update function and we're going to add here that if you land the double jump is true so it will reset so it knows oh we can double jump again when we are back in the air then we're going towards the um, fixed update where it's then the uh, the character controller is grounded and here is the actual the jump function the first thing we're going to do is put instead of the else we can also put it like this isn't grounded we are going to do that because we need to change this if loop or if statement and we don't want to change this statement as well um, we're going to do here that or you have uh, or you are uh, with a double jump uh, because uh, both ways you can just jump like this but we don't want a stick to the ground force when we have a double jump um, that's I think very logic because you're not on the ground anymore so we're going to put here that that only happens when you are actually grounded then we are going to make that um, when you aren't grounded um, so with uh, this sign we will say a double jump is false so we cannot uh, double jump again and again and again and again then here is the play jump sound and that's a little bit depends on how you are going to do it you can just put here a statement that it only happens when you are crowned or when you're not this just depends on how you are going to do this whole system when you're just going to add it uh, leave it for now so everything works like uh, it was intended to be um, Oh, I've got here a little bit of a sign. Um, when we're going to test it, you will see this behavior. That when you're jumping, that's just you can just normally do it, but you can also jump again. But when you do it another time, it will not happen. Only when you're back on the ground. So the last thing you don't want to do is that when you're on the ground you don't want to test these jumps again and we can do it a little bit um, you can leave it or you can have it it's just how you want it I'm going to leave it but that's this part um, that if you aren't jumping then it will just um, does, uh, does make sure that it would just keep it I think it was this part of the script um, as far from the sound that you hear still the sound when you are halfway through the actual uh, air when you jump again that's a little bit of it sounds stupid so we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it here and we're going to put here an else statement and we are going to just put it right here and now when you're jumping it sounds a little uh, already a little bit better and you can add sounds there and so on that's very simple um, so it's not that, that stupid sound anymore a halfway through when you're in the air. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. And see you guys next time with another tutorial. Um, bye, comment. Bye.